earlier about the, the impact of the Cuomo investigation on city-state relations right now. I'm wondering if you can, you've known the governor such a long time, uh, and you know how his political strategic mind works. What do you think that he thinks his strategy is right now? Hmm. Well, all I can say is I, you know, I, I don't usually quote John Podoritz, but it was, uh, he had a really good point the other day about the level of narcissism in play right now. Um, unfortunately, I think we have a bigger issue here, Andrew, and you've watched for a while too. I, you know, there's that famous phrase, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Uh, this is a guy that got too much power. Um, too many people were afraid of him. Uh, he used his power in a very Machiavellian way. He bullied people. He got his way way too often. He think he could do whatever he wanted. And that was very destructive. It's not good. It's not humanly good. It's not good in a democracy when someone's got too much power. Um, I think he thinks he still may have some sleight of hand here. And he's obviously borrowing a page from the Trump playbook and trying to scorch the earth, attack the people doing the investigation, attack anyone who might prosecute him, it's not going to work. He's out of options. So this is just a matter of time before he's gone. If he was not such a narcissist and he actually could think about other human beings, he would say, hey, you know what, I'm doing a lot of damage at this point. It's time to go. Uh, he, think about those 11 women and what he put them through just out of respect for how he wronged them and trying to atone for his sins. He should step aside right now. But also think about almost 20 million New Yorkers who are suffering. Just get the hell out of the way. I mean, in the end, maybe he could close off his career with one act of dignity and decency and just step aside. But don't bet on that, Andrew.